the question is if the equation ax square plus 2hxy plus by square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equal to 0 represents a pair of parallel lines then and your options are first option is a by h is equal to b by h is equal to f by g second is a by h equal to h by b equal to f by g third is a by h equal to h by b equal to g by f and fourth is a by h is equal to b by h is equal to g by f this question based on the basic concept that when this equation will represent a pair of lines and when this equation represents a pair of parallel lines so i'm using here only the basic concept that since lines are parallel so there are two things one is h square minus ab equal to 0 and second is delta equal to 0 h square minus ab equal to 0 it means h square is equal to ab now we will use delta equal to 0 so the determinant a h g h b f g f c is equal to 0 and now we will expand it then you will get a b c plus 2 f g h minus a f square minus b g square minus c h square is equal to 0 now in this one it is given here h square is equal to a b so now we'll substitute from the first in this one h square is equal to a b so it becomes a b c plus 2 f g h minus a f square minus b g square so after substitution it becomes a b c plus 2 f g into root under a b minus a f square minus b g square minus again a b c is equal to 0 this a b c and this a b c get cancelled and you will get here a f square plus b g square minus 2 f g root a b equal to 0 which is root a f minus root b g whole square is equal to 0 you will get root a f minus root b g equal to 0 so from here root a f equal to root b g so root a upon root b is equal to g upon f now if you multiply numerator and denominator by root a so you will get a upon root a b and if you multiply numerator and denominator by root b then it becomes root a b upon b and both should be same and which is also equal to g upon f now from the first equation h square is equal to a b so we can substitute here h square and we can substitute here h square and then a square root of h square is h the square root of h square is h hence from first you can write here a upon h equal to h upon b equal to g upon f so with the help of given options you can say that the third option is the correct option a upon h is equal to h upon b is equal to g upon f so option 3 is correct now student i'm taking another question if the equation 12x square plus 7xy minus py square minus 18 plus qy plus 6 equal to 0 represents a pair of perpendicular lines then and your options are p is equal to 12 q equal to 1 
second option is p equal to 1 q is equal to 12 third is p equal to minus 1 q equal to minus 12 fourth is p equal to minus 12 q equal to minus 1 here also in the previous question we did two things one is when this equation will represent a pair of a straight line and when this will represent a pair of parallel lines here we will use when this equation will represent a pair of straight lines and when this equation will represent a pair of perpendicular line you can see here lines are perpendicular so therefore a plus b is equal to 0 here a is 12 b is minus p so this equal to 0 see a that is coefficient of x square b that is coefficient of y square and hence you will get here p is equal to 12 now you have to find out the value of q you can see the option there is only one option which include p equal to 12 and there is no one contain none of these type option it means your option first that is p is equal to 12 and q is equal to 1 is the correct option without solving the whole question you get the answer of this question p equal to 12 and q equal to 1 but right now i'm solving the whole question now we will find out the value of q now since given equation represents a pair of straight lines so delta equal to 0 that is a b c plus 2 f g h that is a b c plus 2 f g h minus a f square minus b g square minus c h square is equal to 0 now we'll substitute all the values a is given here 12 b is given here minus p c is given here 6 f is given here q upon 2 into g is minus 9 into h is 7 upon 2 minus f square so 12 into q upon 2 whole square minus bg square so b is minus p into g is 9 square minus ch square the c is 6 into h is 7 upon 2 whole square is equal to 0 now we will simplify it's 12 and p is again 12 so 12 into 12 144 and 144 into 6 so it is minus 864 now it becomes minus 63 upon 2 q minus 3 q square now here also we can substitute p equal to 12 and 12 into 81 this becomes minus minus plus 972 minus 147 upon 2 is equal to 0 we will simplify and you will get here minus 3 q square minus 63 q upon 2 and uh, you will get here after the simplification plus 108 minus 147 upon 2 equal to 0 so minus 3 q square minus 63 q upon 2 plus equal to 0 now we will take minus 3 by 2 common so we'll get here 2 q square plus 21 q minus 23 is equal to 0 hence the equation becomes 2 q square plus 21 q minus 23 equal to 0 now we will factorize it and you will get here 2 q plus 23 into q minus 1 equal to 0 so from here you will get q is equal to minus 23 upon 2 or 1 so final answer will be p is equal to 12 q is equal to 1 or p is equal to 12 and q is equal to minus 23 by 2 
from the given options now we will see that which option is the correct option and you can see here the first option p is equal to 12 and q is equal to 1 is the correct option so option first is correct option